Welcome to sunny Winter Haven, Florida. I'm Lane Dog Bowers, and today I'm talking about a 2017 Mastercraft X21. And if you're look, if you have one of these boats, or you want to get a boom for this boat, this video is for you. If you have a different type of boat, all you have to do is leave me a comment, message me, or contact me at thefootersedge.com, and I will help you find the exact boom that you need for your boat. So the thing that you need to know is the boom is the easiest way to learn how to water ski, wakeboard, slalom ski, barefoot water ski at super slow speeds and without falling. That's why it's so awesome. Your kids are going to love it. You'll uh, Everyone's going to just love the stability and the safety and the fun of having a boom on your boat. So you need to know this. We have a boom to fit every boat and we have a tower boom to fit the round tubing of every wakeboard tower. So let's jump right into this boat, the 2017 Mastercraft X21. Uh, it's a beautiful boat, okay? So, but there's a couple things I gotta talk to you about this. Um, <clears throat> I've got someone who wants to learn how to do this and they actually wanna learn to barefoot. They're like a 200, the, the guy says that, uh, you know, he's a big dude and he wants to learn to barefoot and he wants to get out of the chine spray. So with this boat, you've got a couple options. I'm looking at the overhead. As long as your rear pylon here is reinforced, this is like a pop-up pylon, we have a V-drive boom that you can add onto this boat. You're going to need, um, I'll leave, uh, just message me and I can tell you exactly what you need for this, but you're going to need not only our uh, V-Drive boom uh, that you have to choose either passenger or driver side because it's not switchable. So, uh, and people ask me all the time, what is, you know, which, which is the best? There is no best answer. A lot of people, if you've seen my videos and my teaching videos, you'll see that I'm almost always in my boat teaching off uh, driver side. If I travel somewhere else in the world, you know, I'll use whatever they have, but I use it on driver's side only because I'm usually driving and teaching at the same time. So I like to be closer uh, to the student and um, as well as, you know, I'll flip my mirror so I can, you know, tower mirror so I can see the, the feet of the person that, uh, that is learning. So, but it's your choice. There's no wrong answer to it. Literally just pick whatever you think is best and uh, that's fine. Just remember on a V-drive boom that, that attaches to this rear pylon, um, you know, you have to choose. So let's say you want to do a, a V-drive boom. Well, the great thing about a V-drive boom, it can be taken on and off in the water. So um, if you're out in the water, if that's important to you and you want to be able to go out and then decide to use your boom and put it together, uh, you can do that with that. If you use a tower boom, that has to be put on and off the boat in shallow water or next to a dock. So this does have round tubing, but uh, and we do have a tower boom that fits it. Because um, this is, as long as you don't have the power tower, Mastercraft's power tower, that won't work with it. Technically, uh, you could, let me see if I can flip over this picture. That's too small. I want to get a, um, a better picture of this tower. This is... Technically, you could use, um, uh, like I've got a video on the ZFT4 tower, and you could use our tower boom on this, but look how high you would have to mount it. Literally, uh, would have to put the, the clamps on up here, so it starts at, at what looks to be like 16, 18 inches off of the gunnel, which is already, <coughs> excuse me, kind of high. So for this reason, even though you could use a tower boom, I do not recommend you do this. I definitely think that it's a much better idea to use the, uh, the a V drive boom is going to work great as long as this rear pylon is reinforced. Uh, usually it's a pop up one. Now let me talk about the V drive option. I'll put the link of my favorite setup with some extras in it is the key to getting out of the chine spray on this boat, because a lot of you guys, let me see if I can find a picture of this thing up at speed. Uh, it's not really a fair assessment to analyze it uh, with, um, here's a picture. Uh, this is an X21. Here's up at speed and not tons of ballast in it. But you can see this boom would come out from here 
It's got a 24 inch bend in it and it's going to come up. We're going to angle it as far forward as we can and come out right at the base of this wakeboard tower. So, so it would come out here angled this way, but you see the chine spray here. Now this is probably, this looks like they're maybe going, I don't know, this could be close to 30 miles an hour, I'm guessing on this particular boat. But the thing you got to remember about this is that to get out of this chine spray, you're going to have to angle it forward. That's why we got a 24 inch bend. You're going to need two boom extensions, our B110 boom extension, not one. Two is the very minimum you're going to need to get out of this chine spray. Angle it forward. And uh, if you're teaching little kids, I also recommend uh, our B111, which reduces the, the diameter from the two inch boom down to the one inch, which is the same as diameter as a ski handle. So that's easier for little kids. Uh, let me go back to, that's a great shot for what we are doing. So um, the other thing we're going to do is do not skimp. A lot of people go, oh, okay, you know, they'll ask for a quote and they get upset when, when they see that I've that I sent them a link with a bunch of stuff in it and they think I'm upgrading them. Listen, if you got this beautiful boat, uh, or, or one like it, you don't want to you don't want to skimp. So look at all this beautiful interior here. Uh, you the way this thing is going it's going to clamp to your V drive pylon. You're going to want our B107 height adjuster because what it allow you to do is attach the boom at a higher spot because the gunnel's already pretty high off the water, and you're going to want to uh, even though you, it's going to move the attachment point higher. See that that pylon only sticks up so far. We have a special clamp that's got a U-bracket that attaches there, um, and uh, we've got pictures on our site that I'll send you. Just text me, message me, whatever. I'll send you all the info. But you're going to want the height adjuster because then you, it keeps the, uh, the, the first bend of that boom kind of off of your upholstery, up and above and off your upholstery as it goes out the side here. Then on the gunnel, of course, we've got our uh, gunnel saver. And uh, the one thing I wanted to check, yeah, okay, there's the base of that tower. Uh, we need to make sure if you got this boat that there's at least 24 inches between this uh, spot back here. If you drew a line straight to the edge of the boat from the ski pylon, so right here to the base of the wakeboard tower, which I believe is right there. Um, yeah, I believe, yeah, let me, let me pull this out right here. Yeah, this distance up to this to this edge right here has got to be 24 inches. Otherwise, that thing will be, it won't it won't work right. So you got to have 24 inches of room at least, and hopefully more, so you can angle it forward and put it right up against the back of that um, of that wakeboard tower. So you need the B107 height adjuster mandatory on this boat. You need two boom extensions, mandatory. You do any less, you're going to be calling back and wanting uh, those boom extensions. Trust me when I tell you. The B111 kids handle, a luxury. You don't have to have it, but if you got small hands, it's nice. Do not, if you want to save money, do it there, okay? Now, let's talk about, so we've got the tower boom that does fit. I do not recommend that because it's too high off the water. You got the V-drive boom, easy to put on and off. And um, that work is going to work great with this boat. Now, there's one other option that I really recommend. A lot of people don't want to do it, but I highly recommend it because it's less expensive. It works awesome. And the most important thing, if barefooting, even if it's not barefooting, it's not your, uh, your favorite. The, the thing you really, the, the hardest thing on these boats, you know, the bigger the boats get, they're beautiful, they're awesome, you know, and they're killer for, uh, you know, surfing and all that. You want to get out of the chine spray, right? If that's the biggest issue, especially if you're a barefooter. So listen, you invested all this money in this boat, but you still want to barefoot, but you want to be out of the chine spray and you don't have to go flat out uh, to be able to do it. Here's what I recommend. This now it depends on which windshield you got like if you got the short windshield here this this is that is is great if you have the longer windshield uh i'd have to see i guess it'd be like this one and there'd have to be enough room in between i'm not sure if there is i don't think you could uh so here's what i recommend i recommend and this is, you know, some of you are going to go, nope, no way, not going to do it. But trust me when I tell you, this is a great option, is our gunnel mount boom. 
and attach it up front in front of the windshield. You literally are going to have to mount. Yes, you are going to have to mount. Put two small brackets that will stay in here. Listen, I get it if you don't want to drill some holes in your boat, but there's nothing on this boat that's put in there that wasn't drilled onto. So if you can get over the freak out effect of having to uh, drill into the boat, the by far the best thing. You're going to have two small brackets. They're going to literally be smaller than, than, I don't know if that's a vent or what that is right there. But the perfect setup for this boat and any massive wakeboard uh, and surfing boat is to use our gunnel mount boom mounted in front of the windshield. You'd put, if you're going to put it out, driver's side out here. I recommend that you put one of the brackets just in front here. You can have access to it behind the seat. You put the other small bracket right out here. You got to make sure you can do a straight line that fits across here. And then once it's up, you, you know, you may not be able to open the windshield, but you can either open the windshield first or whatever. But the gunnel mount boom mounted in front of the windshield. The reason that's so awesome, it's less money. You're way out of the shine spray. I mean, let's go back and look at that, that one boat here. I'll show you. Uh, let me see if I can find that. There's that one shot of this boat at speed that was pretty nice for what we were talking about. Here, uh, here it is, I think right here. Look at this. So th it, let it come into focus here. So this, the V-Drive boom is going to come out here all the way up next to this rear edge of the wakeboard tower and then come out here and with two boom extensions we want to get you know obviously somewhere out in here but you can still see that with a five foot rope you know you gotta you, you gotta have to adjust the weight in the boat and and to try and get out of that chine spray look at what if you had the gunnel mount boom way out here holy barefoot paradise right out here and kids and everything else so that's why I say that the gunnel mount boom um, is awesome. And it's not a big deal. Drilling holes. Once these things are mounted, the two little brackets will be in place. It will it literally will not affect the uh, look of your boat. Uh, <coughs> and the gunnel mount boom can be taken out on and off out in the water. No problem. It works great. So anyway... That's the 2017 Mastercraft X21. That covers the tower boom. Yes, it works. No, I would not use it. V-Drive boom, excellent. You're going to have to get a, some accessories uh, to make that work. I'll leave the link for my favorite setup in the description. And the deluxe gunnel mount boom. By far the best boom for this boat if you can get over having to drill a couple holes in, in the boat, which is no big deal but yes i get it if you don't want to get one of your handyman buddies it's literally not going to leave a scratch on your boat it's going to be beautiful if you can do that so anyway god bless you guys if you have a different boat or something else you need help with leave me a message text me at the number at the top of my website thefootersedge.com and you guys are going to be so excited to get set up with a great boom on this boat and your kids are going to be loving it getting up on a wakeboard and water skis and a slalom ski without falling uh, the old way that we a lot of us learned with our uncle yelling at us and the boat spinning around and him threatening that he's he's going to take off without us if you don't hold on to that handle all that's done when you get a boom on your boat so uh, anyway, God bless you. And, and we're, by the way, we're talking about Barefoot International Booms here. I don't sell anything but the best. That's all we're talking about. So God bless you guys and have a great day.